what's going on guys I am back in the car if you can't hear that resonation going on um, that's because I don't have cats so lots of awesome stuff I'm actually on my way right now to RDG Motorsports because a spot has opened up so I am getting my stage 3 clutch put in so after this video and my car goes under the knife when driving and taking off it's gonna look like this just because the clutch is gonna be super stiff little background on performance clutches and flywheels a normal clutch in a car on a manual car has a window that you can kind of it's like a sponge the clutch will move and there will be a window within that about yay far maybe maybe three inches maybe four that the clutch will grab and the car can kind of like ease into going when you have upgraded clutches and performance clutches that window goes from here to here and it grabs really freaking hard so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a video of me driving the car brand new on the clutch but we're also going to make a video of Julia trying to drive the car so Julia prior to messing around with my car whenever she wants to didn't drive manual for years like over a decade so she's never experienced any type of performance clutch let alone a stage three which I believe is the highest performance clutch this car can get so everything like clutch flywheel and this external slave cylinder um, that we're getting installed on the car is going to make it grab that much harder so that when we do have the increased amount of power and we are banging gears that there is no, no going to be slipping and it's just going to slam into gear so it's going to be a really funny video also by saturday i believe it's tuesday now steam cleaners coming in which means i can deep clean the interior of my car much better and all of this stuff right here will finally be able to be taken out without harsh chemicals and without me just sopping and smearing and everything I will be able to get all this garbage out. I will be able to more efficiently and safely clean my engine bay and all the other gnarly areas of my car, including rims, leather seats, all of it. Vents, everything. Super stoked about it. Um, so yeah, even though quarantining is happening, I'm still able to, I'm very blessed. Um, God has blessed me with amazing online clients that have not, um, frozen any of their payments a lot of them have home gym so that's a blessing um, I'm still being able to detail on the side with all of these odd jobs in and out and my mechanic is amazing for letting me bring the car in and finally getting these parts put on which I've had for well over a month so I'm actually going to start the um, deconstruction of the transmission casing which I will get on video and uh, that's where we're going to next And all this is not my jam I remember why I did not chase the career in the automotive field I do have my automotive technology degree and I got back in 08 and this stuff like I've been frustrated three times already today ruined a significant amount of stuff in my car that is gonna cost me well over $100 maybe over $200 to get new like the shift knob completely dead like I showed you guys before but this again not my jam so like I said before, clutch and everything will be in by the end of the day today. I might not be the one putting it in, but I will have the complete teardown done. And everything is marked. I have tape on everything. If I don't have tape on it, the bolt is in the hole that it came out of, so I know where it goes. On to the next. All right, guys. So it is day two of stage three Z-Speed clutch thus far. Drive shaft out, exhaust out. I have all of the heat shields and brackets pulled out, um, holding all the wiring and hard lines 
of the transmission. The transmission is still bolted in. The dumbest. Infinity, Nissan, whatever. I don't care. You're dumb. Dumb. Why? That's blue in there. That means this is Loctite. They Loctited, Loctite, they put Loctite in the shift knob. This is an 08, an 08, over 10 years old. And there's leather on the outside and you're supposed to put a vice grips on this sucker. Well, let me tell you something. I completely ruined my shift knob. This is supposed to be leather. It's not anymore, it's plastic. Just so I can get this sucker out so that we can get the C-Mac and everything on. So really bummed about that. Now I gotta try and find an OEM shift knob because I don't want an aftermarket shift knob because I like how this looks. It's classy, it's clean. There's no writing on it or anything like that. So uh, yeah, get to spend more money on that. Awesome, so that's how day two is going. Hopefully it, uh, I don't know, by the end of the day, Rich is gonna help me. Um, and he said this will be on the ground and then tomorrow, um, the exhaust and the drive shaft will just go back in it. So basically we're gonna do the clutch replacement and the C-Mac, all gonna be buttoned up tonight. So uh, stay tuned. I might start the car without the exhaust on it, just to see what it looks like, sounds like. But who knows. Nice. I totally understand why this is roughly a thousand dollar job. I, am, I took all this apart. I do not know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> that metal bracket right there, I have no clue how I'm gonna get that back in. Um, I'm gonna bank on Rich putting that back in. There's a massive spring that goes right there that it warned me about. It still caught me by surprise. That's completely the underside of the car. That's where the shift linkage, that's where the shift knob meets the shift linkage, which goes to the transmission. So I think I have all the really hard stuff straight up done. Um, now it's unbolting the tranny and then doing all the fun parts, which are still not the really fun parts. Under the car. That's the dash of my car. These are the scariest parts for me. When you're all the way out with everything. Uh, with the old. Gonna be in with the new. I never would have thought that I would be pulling my complete transmission out to replace this internal slave cylinder. We're halfway done. I'm two days in, we pulled the transmission and removed the clutch and flywheel in like less than an hour and a half, so that's awesome. The longest part of this process is after we get everything put back in, it's gonna be on me to put everything back that I took out, which is what has been taking this process the longest. What's going on, everybody? We're done. We're back in the car. This is the only casualty we had during this four-day dilemma. So, Z-Speed, clutch flywheel and C-Mac clutch is completely in. Huge shout out to RDG Motorsports. They literally let me have a rack for four days as I struggled my way through. Um, a lot of the teardown, uh, Rich did the important stuff of clutch flywheel and the alignment of the C-Mac, which if it was left to my own doing, I would have broke something even worse. Um, yeah, I'm extremely impressed with this clutch. It is a 
very high performance clutch. This is gonna take the almost, I'm hoping for, almost double the horsepower of what this car has. And usually when you would have an upgraded clutch like this, it would be very, um, it would engage really hard. It would be very raw and this is super smooth. Like it's extremely smooth and I'm really impressed with it. The, I was kind of making a joke on the way in the very first time we dropped the car off that we we're gonna have Julia drive it. It's, there's more tension, don't get me wrong, but I kind of would made the joke because she was gonna clunk out the car a bunch of times. I don't think she will. Like the clutch is so similar to stock you just have to put a little more pressure behind it, but it doesn't grab super hard. You can still let it out really easily. So I'm gonna have her drive it. I got a new shift knob. It's not my favorite in the world, but the amount of money they wanted for an OEM replacement shift knob, I was like, no, bro, that's not gonna happen. So four days later, basically took the entire week. Um, car's done, stage one is 100% complete. Now. Uh, wait until everything reopens and that one that's when stage two happens all right so julia's gonna try and drive the car brand new clutch and a brand new shifter so two things she's never experienced uh before and i'm curious the clutch is a little bit more aggressive but again it's i'm very impressed that it still keeps its stock. Um, it's pretty close to stock, so she's obviously doing very well, and she did not botch it like I thought she was going to. So good on her for that. But we're gonna let her get all the way onto the street in first gear. Oh, she got it. No problem. 